Hello, hello, is everybody there? Anybody there? Is anybody there? Trying to get his tigger to lay down on, on his butt and go to sleep. So, oh, I gotta fix this light. Because this light drives me bonkers. Ugh. Like nowhere good to plug the damn thing in or to have it where I want it. I just knock stuff over. It's such a problem. Good lighting is a problem, always. Now that I knocked everything else over. Hi, Stephanie. How you doing? Hi, Tammy. How you doing? Is you doing good? What are you up to? I'm doing okay. I spent a lot of time cleaning this mat because it was a royal disaster. I mean, it's a silicone mat, so it's supposed to be nonstick. The silicone mats are really a pain to clean. They might be nonstick, but somehow things stick to them. And it was a royal pain in my butt, but I sat there and I actually used a razor blade to clean it, believe it or not. And it worked great. You can see like marks from where the where I sprayed it and cleaned it but other than that I got all the like crap off of it yeah it's everything that you had Tammy everything at once I wouldn't just yeah I, I always put them together if I you know if I have the opportunity to do so I wouldn't just do one so it's Everything. That went out today, by the way. Today. It was picking it up. Let's make sure there's no resin on this. I cleaned everything, like all my molds. The only thing I missed was these three. <laughs> you been home? You want to try what? Resin? You should. It's a lot of fun. One thing that's important when you're using messing around with resins, just keep keep things clean because it, you know, you you wind up with more problems if you have like everything's you know getting dirty and gunky and you know what I mean. That's why it's good to keep everything as clean as possible so that you don't you know contaminate your resin and make things all a mess. Like I try to get. All, any leftover bits off of my molds and stuff because I don't want something like you know there's a little bit of purple on here I don't want that falling into let's say I'm doing clear and blue or something I don't want purple pieces falling into my resin you know so you want to try to get as much of it off as possible because these silicone molds will attract a lot because they're silicone and that makes them attract like you ever have like a silicone mat and it just seems to attract hair and like dust and everything. So, yeah, they attract a lot of unnecessary things. And because of that, <clears throat> it can be hard to keep them clean. 
alcohol. That's what I have in this bottle. I got a bigger bottle because I was using a little tiny bottle and I was just going through it too fast. That's another thing you need a lot of is alcohol because alcohol cleans resin. Um, like wet resin, like if you get it on your hands or on something, it'll clean it really easily. Whereas if you try to use something else, it's going to be harder to clean with that. And I just ordered, I just got my shipment of two gallons of alcohol because I use so much of it with the resin. Yeah, dog hair gets on them, everything. Yeah, if you have some sort of dust or hair or anything, that's why I just sat and, and like took alcohol and cleaned them all and then put them in um, those like plastic shoe boxes, even though they're not covered yet, I'm going to try to find a way to cover them. You bought the resin. Oh, cool. What kind did you get? There's nothing you need to just do it. Bite the bullet. Just do it. <laughs> it's fun. It's not, it's not hard to do. It's really not level of difficulty is, you know, it's not. Yes, there's a little bit of a learning curve, but that's easy. You know, that's the easy part. You know, you're not going to learn unless you do. You know what I mean? If you if you don't give it a try. Well, let me also tell you as well, another reason why you should use it, you know, like soon and don't keep putting it off is because that resin you just spent money on, which is not cheap, it's only going to last like less than a year before it goes bad. So you want to make sure you use it and don't let it go bad. You know what I mean? Because that would be a waste of money. Hi, JD. Oh, there's my mermaid tail that I made with leftover resin. But it took me about an hour to clean this mat completely to get every ounce of like little little bits that was all over it. But once I figured out I can use a razor blade on it, it went, you know, I was like, oh. And it became an obsession for me to sit here and I was scraping at it carefully because that was the only way I was going to get like the little bits of resin that was on there. Not like like it, it would be like a thin spot of resin that kind of stuck to it and you couldn't just wipe it off and you'd have to scrape it with a fingernail otherwise, you know what I mean? And it was just was, it, I don't know, it was just really annoying. So, but the razor took it up real easily and I was very happy to be able to get that cleaned. Oh, is she? Who's sales? Who's having a sale? Oh, there's a few of them. There's always sales going on. I was supposed to go to the creative reuse today, but I'm going to go tomorrow instead. But I wanted to get some stuff done because I didn't get any resin stuff done at all this week. I mean, aside from the things I already done, but I want, there was more I wanted to do. And I didn't feel that great on Monday and Tuesday. And then I also had to like pack orders and stuff like that on Tuesday and Wednesday. So. I didn't get nearly as much done. Hi, Janie.
I'm not taking you away from JD said you were at a sale. I hope I'm not taking you away from that. You don't have to leave your sale. Did you buy anything good? Did you buy me a present? I'm just kidding. This one's the resin stuck on the side. This is one of the ones that I used before I made the mist before I realized that using a using your torch is not good when you're using molds. You should use your heat gun, not torches. Well, this is one of the last molds that I guess I did that in because the resin has a tendency to stick and then it when you go to pull your thing out, it'll get stuck and you can rip a hole in your mold because heating it with the torch is not a good idea. You can heat it as long as it's not in a mold, but if it's in a mold, you shouldn't heat it with a torch. You should heat it with your heat gun to pop bubbles. Because the resin and the mold get too hot when you use a torch and it scorches it and then it the resin kind of like burns into the, like it kind of opens the pores of the silicone and the resin gets in it and then it doesn't want to come out. And then forever it causes a problem in that mold. So I learned that the hard way. You got me some pop rocks? <laughs> hey, I don't have a boyfriend to use them. You have a husband. Did, did he ever did he ever uh, tell you he wanted you to use them? <laughs> I'm just trying to spice up your love life. It's romantic. <laughs> Naughty Pop Rocks. Did you eat them yet? All right, all clean. purple one came out nice I don't know which side I like better that's the front side that I did right so that's the front but look how cool the back looks that's the front and that's the back that's the front that's the back so I don't know which way to put this tray so I haven't put it together yet because I'm like which way do I put that side or this side I'm like hmm I don't know I can do it like that, or I could do it like that. Should I do it with the gold rings? Because the rings kind of make it look more like um, an actual geode, you know? That's where I messed up. Remember, I was I was, <laughs> I was yelling across the kitchen, and I was like, damn it, son of a bitch, because the cord got stuck. Well, this is where it happened. But it actually kind of came out looking pretty cool, so I was not sad about that. But either way, I sanded the very edge here, but it's getting, that little bit of sanding will get covered up. You'll see it looks dull right there. That'll get covered up when I put the gold on because I've got the gold in here. So I'm going to put gold on the edge and then you won't see that. 
Yeah, it does look like an eyeball. Winnie wants to play. And Willow's like, I want to take a dump. Leave me alone. She wants to go in on her pee pad and go to the bathroom. <laughs> but Winnie wants to play with her. Go ahead, Willie. Go, go do your thing. Go ahead. Good girl. Good girl. Go ahead. And then that's the gold leaf that I used the excess resin on that I had. I made that little dish. I found it was good for putting a pair of glasses in. It fits perfectly for like your reading glasses or anything. I thought that came out kind of cool. What in the hell are you doing? Psychos. He bought a Bob Ross bucket cleaner for when I paint. Oh, that's cool. second. Oh, never mind. It'll be okay. I was going to put the camera on the girls. Oh, whoops. I just screwed up. Come on. I made a boo boo. I was going to make a poodle cam, and whenever they're playing, I would put it on them. <laughs> okay, let me get this in here because this is where it's a pain in the ass. There we go. Girls. Go be on camera. Why can't I get that to turn off? <laughs> They're looking at me like, don't mind their pee pads. Nobody wants to see that. She's very confused. She sees me and she's like, what is she doing? Psycho mommy's doing something weird. I ain't doing nothing, mind your business, dog. play you were just playing what I do disturb you excuse me hi you can't come up here go on your couch that was the whole point is for you to go on your couch I can't make this thing not make noise I don't understand oh, wait a minute. Maybe. Let's see. It's really difficult to put the, uh, first of all, it's difficult to get this camera, this thing to not to be quiet. Because no matter what, it won't stop making noise. Like I have the volume all the way down, yet I can still hear it through my phone. It's very aggravating and I don't know how to, I don't know how to get it to stop. I 
don't know why it's doing that. But it's also very hard to put your camera in a tripod when you're using it because the dam wants to. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh my god, I just broke this thing. Okay, I give up. It's like there's nowhere to touch it. They put the volume buttons in like the worst place on the planet. And my thing just broke. That's weird. Why would it do that? It doesn't make any sense. What was this? So that just broke, or is that? Him? Oh, I see. Okay. I don't know. It's like you can't do anything because the buttons are in such terrible places. Now I can't get this to go away. What the hell? I give up. Forget it. It's just such a pain in the ass. You can't, I, for some reason, StreamYard doesn't let you turn the volume completely down on like a phone or something. I don't know why. It will. It, it refuses to go all the way down. So if I want the volume to go down so I can't hear it coming through the phone, it won't let me. I keep emailing them all these little idiot, idiosyncrasies I keep finding with their program and saying, do something about it. Like there are things about StreamYard that could be great if it would change certain things that suck about this program. It really could be great, but they, they're just terrible about, you know, doing anything to fix things, you know, like it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense that they do that. None whatsoever. All right, let's paint this with the gold. Actually, well, yeah, I'll start one anyway. We're going to start it. You filmed walking with the cats. You walk them on a leash. How are you walking with cats? Or do they just follow you on your walks and stuff? That looks so pretty when you do that. Not that the camera will let it focus or anything, but once you put the gold on, it looks so nice. or silver or whatever you're using. Get this piece of paper because I may have to press the marker on there every now and again. What are you up to? Janie, what sales were you in? Who's having sales today? I haven't even been on the damn computer all day. I have been cleaning. Because this house was a disaster. It still is, but at least I got the dishes done. Laundry's done. I got the table cleaned up. I got a few things put away. Other than that, it's about the best I could do.
we'll see that. Oh, cool. Did you get anything good? Hi, Barbara. That looks pretty. I think I'm just going to do that one for now. Because I want to get started on some resin. I just want to see what it would look like. Hey, stop trying to attack it. Let me move these out of the way. These nuts. You some other things that are done you may or may not have seen me do there's that one it's like little clouds doesn't it and these are those weird purple coasters I made there's four of them I think they came out pretty dark purple. That one and that one. And that one. And that one. Yeah, they all need to be top coated and sanded, which I'm not going to do today. I'll probably do that tomorrow at some point. This one got its top coat. That one came out really pretty. fade no I mean no it's not gonna fade you know resin any resin like you know 20 years down the road you know they can have a tendency to yellow a little bit but that's any resin you use is gonna do that at some point in time Four I'm gonna leave over here because I need to finish those, but otherwise the rest of these go back over here over yonder. Let's see what else is over here. This I need to top coat and sand this tomorrow too. So I can put the let's see, it needs to be sanded and top coat because this area right here is like the resin was getting really thick by the time I was, you know, messing with it. So I definitely need to sand it and then top coat it and then put the handles on. That's a tray. As far as anything else, I think that's oh, two more molds do. Two 
more molds I didn't clean out. How you would do as a, how it would do as, oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Totally fine. Yeah, I mean, it's not gonna, it's not gonna fade. Not as far as I know, it wouldn't. Oh, Barbara, did you have your sale today? I just realized it's Thursday. All day I thought it was Wednesday <laughs> or Friday. Actually, I think I th was thinking it was Friday or most of the day. I thought it was Wednesday for a little while when I got up today. And then I realized, no, that was yesterday. I lost track of all kinds of things, all kinds of days this week. I thought it was Friday. And that's why, like, I was like, oh, I can't get my shot today because it's Friday because they're going to be closing at, like, noon. And then I was, and then it took me couple hours to realize wait a minute it's actually thursday and then i called them they didn't they couldn't get me in today the lady that at that office is there's one lady that i really like she's really nice but there's this other lady who's just not very nice and she's newer and she like is such a pain in the ass about me coming in and getting my shot i used to be able to just walk in and like now oh now i need an appointment and i'm like an appointment i said i'm not seeing the doctor just to for the nurse to call me back and do a shot well and then she says well i have to schedule you between patients and i'm thinking what difference does it make when i come then because if you have to schedule me between patients anyway and the nurse just has to run me back to stick the shot in me and then i walk out like why do you have to make it a big deal out of it you know what i mean like it doesn't make sense i don't know the, the other ladies always just had me come in whenever i felt like it or just call them and let them know when, that I was going to come in that day. You know what I mean? But now all of a sudden, you know, they're being persnickety about it. And it's like, oh, for crying out loud. Sticks to this mat. I just cleaned it. I just cleaned this mat meticulously with a razor blade to get every ounce of crap off of it. So you try, dry enough. Get you out the way. Get out the way. <clears throat> you went to the doctor yesterday. Yeah, I should do that. Check off the days, but I forget to do that too. <laughs> Let me grab their pee pad and pull it up. And put your pee pad in the garbage, okay? Good girl. Good girls. Okay, be good girls, okay? Watch out, mama. Let me wash my hands really quick. anyway because I want to do another three tier tray and I like to use this to put it on even though somehow it's got resin all over it that's okay. That's all right. But make sure it's not completely nasty.
Yeah, habits are hard to do for me. <laughs> it's easier said than done. If I could make a habit out of things, I wouldn't forget so much. <laughs> The only thing I can make a habit out of is eating cookies. <laughs> that I have made a habit out of. Most certainly. I also have some of this Mylar Flim. Flim. Mylar Flim. Um, it's got lots of colors in it. And I wanted to take pieces of it and crinkle it up and lay them in coasters or in something. Get over here. Stop that. This is all kinds of a mess now. Um, I have those round coasters. Because that's the easiest way to do it. Hi, Monica. But that will be for later. I'm going to figure out where I did my stuff. Also got a tray mold in the mail that I've been waiting for for a while. It's ginormous. It's like 17 inches by like 12 inches. It's a big tray. You know, I'll put handles on it. Isn't that cool? It's a big one. It's a big one. But today I'm going to do another three tiered dude. I just cleaned them all, but clearly not well enough. You don't want any of your uh, oils from your hands on them. But you want to make sure that, they, that they're nice and clean. Otherwise, any little imperfection you leave on the mold is going to end up on your resin. I did a blue tray. I did a purple tray. I'm thinking a pink tray. I want to try. Well, I might try that with. Uh, with. Um, no, I'm going to try it with this. I think actually I lied. I want to try doing the flowers. I see these ladies that do these flowers in the resin. And it comes out really cool. You know what? Maybe I'll do it with the coasters because they're a little smaller. It's going to be much harder for me to do it on these. I'll just do like a pink. I'm thinking of doing like a pink and white. Um, pink, white, and clear on these. That's the plan, Stan. Oh, where's my level? Did I move it? It's been here forever. What did I do with it? So I, haven't, I didn't see it since I've been clean, cleaning up. I must have moved it around here somewhere. Oh, I think I brought it over here at one point. Did I? Where is my level? It's not very level. It's not on the up and up. Where the hell did it go? Did it fall to the ground like everything else does? Unless I picked everything up that fell. Level with me. Get it? Level with me? Mm -hmm. I want my level. It literally, I know it's not on the table. 
You can, oh, here it is inside the basket. Yes. Found it. It was hiding from me. It was hiding from me. Maybe the one that's wrapped up. There we go. That looks good there. Need a, need a helper over this away. In this case, I'll put it. I think we just need a piece of paper, maybe. No? Okay. There we go. over here jackass that's better and you my little friend you're good that way you're good no matter how much i level them it don't matter <laughs> they will be unlevel and everything will shift one way for some reason i don't know why it just does it it just does it because it can i think just does it to piss me off. Okay. Okay. Um, I need the bigger one because I'm going to need more resin than I think I do because with these three. Cleaned all my cups. I was a good girl. I did all that. I cleaned everything. I was a good girl. So what are you guys working on today? Are we doing any crafting? What? Okay. Plus, anything I have left over, I'll throw it in a coaster or something. Oh, let me put my gloves on first. I always do that. And then I forget to put my damn gloves on before I start messing. My eye has been twitching all day. And I want to punch myself right in the face because it drives me nuts. Oh, I hate it. My left eye. It's just twitch, 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 twitch. My left eye is revolting from the rest of my body. Can't put can't put gloves on wet hands. Great. I just drop all my medicine on the floor. It's gonna be one of those days. Everything's gonna fall every five minutes. What else is new? Can't have nothing nice. Lay down, babies. Go to sleep. You're putting your traveler's notebook together? Cool. Oh, anything else want to fall on the floor? I don't think enough has fallen on the floor. You know that glitter I kept saying? This stuff that I needed to get more? Because I only had a little bit left. Well, 
Walmart for two dollars and change and it's a big old bottle and it looks exactly the damn same I'm trying to see if one of them is more fine than the other let me see let me look in here I can't hold on to nothing today I'm having one of those days yeah it looks exactly the same I don't see any difference in the fineness huh it's literally the same and I bet you this this stuff is a lot more money isn't that crazy? I, I walked down the aisle when I went to Walmart to get some. What did I go there for? What did I go to Walmart for? I don't remember. I thought I went there for something specific. No, I think I just went there for groceries. Anyway, I was walking down the, you know, down the craft aisle. I always walk down to see if they got anything new. And I walked right by the glitter and I stopped and went, <laughs> Back it up. Let me see that glitter because it looked just like the diamond glamour, whatever that stuff is. That's a little more expensive that I ran out of. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to pick that up because that's cheap. So I grabbed that one and I grabbed something else. Um, is this one? Yeah, this one. This one is like basically the same thing, but it's like those little circles or hexagons. And the reason I got this one is because I have another one that I like to use. That I only have a tiny bit of. I'm looking for the bottle. And this is this one. I had it in this bottle, and it's the exact same stuff. So I only had a tiny bottle of that too. And I was like, cool. And this was only two dollars and change. I was like, damn. I was like, all right, well, it's a good place to go get your glitters. Or, Pop that open. No, they have that plastic tab. How do I always break that plastic tab? How do I end up doing that? I don't know. But then again, it is me. So, you know, if it's going to be broken, it's going to be broken by me. And it just flung across the room. I don't care. As long as I can get to the damn thing. It's like barely going to come out of there, but let's undo this. Let's see if we're going to pull that off anyway. Nothing's going to come out with that thing on there, is it? There we go. Get you out of there, you little pooper. Did you guys see the video I put up earlier? Was it today, I guess, this morning? I finally got that video up. Showing you how to make the bowl. Well, I don't need to do that one today because I do have enough of that one left if I want to use it. Anywho. Let's get this poured. This bottle's ginormous and heavy. It's like 15 pounds of resin. And it's coming out, it comes out so damn slow. Come on, hurry up. Come out your hole. Come on, you could do it. It's my neck and my shoulders to hold this thing. It's very heavy. Goodness gracious, you heavy. The other one comes out much faster. The hardener. You always start with the thicker one, put it in your cup, and then put the hardener on top. Or, you know, if you're going to do two separate cups and then mix them together, put your hardener in one and your, I mean, your resin in one, your hardener in the other, and then pour the hardener in because it's much easier to pour that than it is to pour the thicker resin. It is annoying. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. You started. What did you start? Are you crafting? Are you being crafty? Nine. Eighteen. I'm going to have to pour this in another cup because it only goes up to 16, but I poured nine because I was didn't stop it in time. So, in that case, I'll do two. I just want to make sure I get it right. A little over nine, actually. And you're, if you're going to be over on any of them, you want to be over on the hardener, not the resin. Oh, you started watching the video? I'm on StreamYard, Jenny. Do you want to come on if you're working on clusters? Cluster Fs? <laughs> I feel like a, a mad scientist when I have them in two things. <laughs> so you always mix the thinner into the thicker one because it it works out better that way. Let me put these out of the way. I don't need I'm trying to keep my area as cleaned off as possible since I did so much cleaning to get it this way in the first place. Use one of my good sticks. Oh, did you? I got up really early too. So I'm probably not going to be on terribly late today. Because I was up at like 7 o'clock this morning. Whoa. Blind at me. Hi, Denise. Hey, Denise. Are you the same Denise that ordered bottles from my, my auction? while back because I don't think you ever sent your info or payment for those bottles and I didn't know how to get a hold of you I was trying to figure out how to get a hold of you so I can get you your why are you dripping are you dripping just to be a pain in my buttocks Yeah, I got about, I also only got like about, well, I got about, I got more sleep than you. I only got, but I only got about four hours, four and a half hours sleep because I went to bed at, what time did I go to bed? Uh, it's probably like 1.30 in the morning. I went to bed and at about 5.30, I guess it was six o'clock max, I got up to go to the bathroom and I couldn't go back to sleep. And so I laid there and kind of like tossed and turned for a while. And then finally. At like, oh, I don't know what time it was when I finally decided to just get up. It was like 730 probably when I like decided to actually get up and like be awake awake even though I was awake before that but I wasn't technically out of bed until about 7 30. but I laid there forever and I'm like oh I just want to go back to sleep I don't want to I don't want to only sleep a couple hours I want to get more sleep but no 
So I just said, screw it. There's no point in sleeping. And, you know, there's no point in laying here. I, that's the worst thing is like laying there awake. Because then what happens is like, if it's only like a half hour or whatever, that's fine. But after it becomes like an hour that I've been laying there trying to get back to sleep, it starts to run through my head all the things I could be doing. Instead of laying here awake, I could be getting up and, and getting things done. So then I start to get anxious about that and annoyed that I'm laying here awake, not sleeping, but wasting time and not able to get anything done yet. Yeah, so it becomes a vicious cycle. And then I try and I'm like, okay, well, if I just, you know, do this, I'll close my eyes and I'll be able to fall asleep, you know? And then I try. And once it gets like, if it's like three hours, I've been laying there wide awake, I really start to get annoyed because I'm like three hours. I could have done a lot in three hours, blah, 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 blah. And I start like talking myself into just like, screw it. I'm just going to get up. Or I'll say, I'll try for 30 more minutes. And if I'm not asleep, I'm getting up. <laughs> I hate doing that. It's so annoying. It just, it winds up like keeping me awake. Yeah, I, that's how I have to sleep. I have to sleep with the TV on the way it is right now. You can't even hear it, but it's on really, really low, and I keep it on really low. I've always done that, and it's the only, and, and if it shuts off, I'll wake right up. <laughs> the second it gets quiet, like super quiet, I wake up immediately. Chris used to laugh at me because he would shut. The, he would. I would go to bed, or he would go to bed, and I'd have the TV on. And you know, this is back when we were together. And he'd turn, get up to go to the bathroom or something and turn off the TV. And he would say, only you would wake up when everything got quiet. I'm like, no, you can't, you can't have it quiet in the room. I have to have some sort of background noise going on. Oh, okay. Well, Denise, um, uh, send me an email at pinkpoodlecrafts at gmail.com. The same as my name of my YouTube um, just add at gmail.com, all one word. Um, send me an email with your, with your, uh, address so that I can work out your shipping and stuff and you know, whatever, because I still have your bottles and I, I was like, I can't, I couldn't get a hold of you. I don't know whether, I don't remember. Did you send me an email that night? Because I kept looking it up, like searching my email, but nothing was coming up. And I was like, what the hell? And I thought, well, maybe I'll run into her in the live stream or something. <laughs> so shoot me an email real quick so that I can get you, you know, I want to make sure you get your bottles because I've been holding on to them. And I'm like hoping that I can get a hold of you. So what are the colors that I said I was doing? pink and white because I watched some videos this morning when I was up and couldn't sleep so I put on some resin videos because I was watching you know who I watch her name is Petra there's two ladies I like to watch one her name is Petra she does really amazing resin work and also like paint pouring and then there's another lady who her channel name is pour pour your heart out or something. And she also does resin and paint pouring, which I plan on doing some paint pouring too. Um, so I usually will watch, go back and watch some of their videos. If there's something I want to do or a certain color way that I want it to come out really nice or something. And I'll, I'll watch and I'm starting to realize like, you know, here I am like doing the coasters and mixing up 8 million colors and stuff, you know, like I'd mix like four different colors, this color, that color. And, you know, and that ends up being the downfall of them, I think. And I watch them do it and they don't mix as many. I mean, you can do it the way I'm doing it. I mean, obviously they, they come out pretty nice, but if I want them to be like theirs, you know, like I like the way theirs look. Um, I need to mix less colors and concentrate on just like three colors instead of 5 million colors. So for these ones, I'm going to do a darker pink on the outside. I'm going to do a lot of clear and then I'm going to put a lighter pink with the white, like a little bit of a lighter pink and white. So actually technically four different cups, but really one of them is just going to be the clear. So that's not a color. So really it's just going to be three colors. Um, and then the clear, uh, it'll be a light pink 
it'll be a little bit darker pink and then the white and I'm hoping that that will make a difference because she would pour them in and like she'd do a ring around the outside of the darker color of like the more opaque color. Do you watch Miriam? Yes, I watch her too. Yes. I, she ha, She's the one, is she the one with all the dogs? Or am I thinking of, no, no, no. That's the one with the raspy voice. No, you need to go, like she's good at resin too. But go watch if you've never watched Petra or or pouring your heart out. Oh my God! But yeah, I watch her too. The the Miriams. Uh, I think it's pouring your heart out that has all the poodles. She has a whole bunch of poodles, and at the beginning of her video, she usually shows like all these poodles. I think she lives in um, New Zealand, I think. But she has like a whole ton of poodles. I'm talking like yeah, yeah, the one with the raspy voice. Yeah, I like her too. But um. My voice is raspy today. I don't know why. But um, pouring your heart out, she has a bunch of poodles. And she'll, like, show, like, at the beginning of her videos, all these. She has, like, 8 million poodles. And they're all so cute. And she has them on her deck. And then all these weird tropical birds will come, like, just, like, all over. Like, I don't know where the hell she lives. I know she lives, like, in, like I said, New Zealand. But... It's like she lives in the middle of a friggin' animal sanctuary or something. It's incredible the amount of animals that she's got coming on to all kinds of things. She'll have like all kinds of birds or or you know, one time she had something else come up to the I don't remember. She like all kinds of birds. She feeds them and everything. Just you should just go watch her. It's crazy. But then she does the the resin and stuff. And she does paint pouring and everything. But yeah, I like uh, I like the Miriam lady too with the yeah with the raspy voice. I like watching her. I was just talking about her. I sh didn't I show you a video, Janie, from her? I think it was her one time about something. Yeah, I sent you that video about those something she made. I know, right? I, well, I, I found her accidentally. She's She's got a pretty popular, her channel's pretty popular as far as I know. I think, I'm trying to think, I can't remember how many subscribers. I know she has more than me. She has, you know, a, a lot, like 80,000, 60,000. I don't remember, something like that. She's got a lot. Um. And I think so does the other lady pour, um, not pouring your heart out. Um, what did I say her name was? Petra. Petra has a lot too. They both do. But they both do like, I don't know, they do the incredible things. And so I'm new to all the stuff that they do. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not necessarily new to resin, but. I'm definitely, I consider myself new to it in a sense because of this stuff. This stuff I'm new at. I've only been doing this a couple of months. Because I never did all this where you pour colors in and all that. Mm -mm. I, I mean, I've made colored things with resin before, but not like this. All right. I need cups. So I'm going to try one of her techniques. One of them. I can't remember which one it was. What's... Oh, one of those little diamonds. Um, where she does, um, takes a little cup and she puts the, she puts gold leafing foil, which I have right here somewhere. Oh, I have the golden pink. Oh, look, it's gold with pink. And she uses that for the center and she mixes a little bit of it with resin and like, and makes it thick which I do that with the, with the, usually I do it with the Mylar flakes. Oh, this, I also got this at uh, Walmart while I was there. Mylar flakes. You know how much these are when you go to same ones that are in here. And I paid like, I don't know, four or $5 for that bag. 
and they were a dollar fifty at Walmart. I'm an asshole. <laughs> I was like, you gotta be kidding me. What's that? Oh, there's one of the flakes right there. Flew off the side of the thing. Minsky in the Yeah, I, we, we were talking about Miriam's nature. That's the lady with the raspy voice. Rinsky, do you want to art? Oh, I don't know who that is. I have not seen her. I'll have to look her up. That's not her, though. I don't think. I think it's the pouring your heart out lady. I'll look. Actually, I can, I can tell you right now because I'll know. Because her, her one video that she did was... Uh, before my hands get resiny. I'll tell you if it's her. I might be wrong. Yeah, she is like, yeah, the Pouring Your Heart Out lady has 241,000 subscribers. So she's the one that has the, like, a lot, a lot. The other lady has, like, 80,000 or 60,000 or something. Yeah, this lady has a lot of subscribers. But she, let me see if this is the woman with the dogs. I think this is because, whoops, whoops, don't play. I don't want you to play. Stop it. Um, I'm trying to find the one where she had the dogs. She does like the uh, the paint spinning, you know, where she'll, you know, put the thing on a spinner, you know, all kinds of resin stuff, but mostly just resin and like paint pouring. Let's see. Let me look at this video real quick and see if. Playing from desktop, zero FFL. Oh, shut up. Well, maybe it isn't her. Okay. Let me see. All right, she didn't have the dogs in that one. Oh, maybe it isn't her. Maybe it is the other lady. Oh, now I'm all kinds of confused. But anyway, Pouring Your Heart Out has a really good channel. But, and I like watching her stuff. But I don't think she, maybe she isn't the one. Oh, she's the one that has that. That's right. She's the one that has the mold that I like, I think. Oh, no. Here's her deck. Here's her gorgeous sea glass. I forgot to remember. Okay. She's on her deck here. Stop. Yeah, here it is. This is her with the, the animals. It's her. She just didn't have, she had some videos where she didn't show the animals. Let me see. Um, yeah, because I, I recognize her deck. Let me see if I can get it on the screen. Uh, I don't know if it'll, yeah, I'll share the audio on that way. It'll, um, can you guys see it? She has a huge she deck of furniture missed. on it. And then she has like All right, cookies, a little bit more. And then I'm going to go inside and paint. There you go. Oh, it's a Karawong too. But she has all these birds that come up. And those Let aren't even the tropical birds that came up on her deck. She had a slew of these like parrots and stuff up on her deck that she feeds. And then she's got like a crap ton of dogs, poodles. And then she goes to her thing. But I'm trying to find one with the poodles. I'm trying to see. Uh, what video it could be that I watched. Let's see, maybe it was this one. Yeah, here's the one with the look, look. That's and stuff. Not very nice. No. All right, let me get you some seed. Hang on. Isn't that crazy? They just come to our house, just these parrots. I mean, I understand it's New Zealand and they live there. That's natural, you know. Seed for you, hey? I want to show you the dogs. Hang on, I'll put it in there for you. 
Are you hungry? Are you? They'll be like, oh, you see them in the grass? See all the poodles in the grass? Oh, you can see them. They're all in the grass running around. Those are little apricot poodles. You're very dirty today. You've been rolling in the dirt, have you? You look like a gray cockatoo, not a white cockatoo. <coughs> Where did your friend go? Friends over there. Look, look how beautiful it is. She lives. My God. You're not nervous, though, are you? You gonna come over, cockatoo? Let's go and see the kookaburra. Okay, it's so funny how they all just come right up to her porch like that. You're hungry too, kookaburra. I'll have to like go inside. She's Dr. Doolittle some meat, or right? something. I will. <laughs> hey, hello. <laughs> You'd bite me, wouldn't you? Anywho. Anyway, if you get a chance to look at her channel, her name, the name of her channel is Pour Your Heart Out. Oh, whoops, it started up again. Stop it. Um, yeah, it's called Pour Your Heart Out. All right, is this going to open or what? I don't think so. All right, why does that keep starting back up? All right, I gotta shut you off. Go away. I don't know. I kept pausing it and it kept starting up all by itself. It's the ghosts. You wanna hear something funny? All right, why are you doing that? Hello? Whoops, I'm not trying to do that. And get this to show me the comments it claims I'm missing. Stop it. Why does it do that? I don't know. Good God. Why is it doing that? I'm tapping you. You're not going away. Stop it. This thing is in my way. I don't know why. There it goes. Okay. Good God. I need to move my ass or else my resin's going to set up because I keep forgetting I'm sitting it in this thing here, which is not good. I need to get it into cups. You don't want to leave it sitting in a thick, a thick thingy. But, um, Anyway, to, so Winnie watches TV and she knows TV as the big screen, you know, up on the wall TV to her anyway. Um, but my laptop, I usually have it on the coffee table, which is sitting, you know, across the room right in front, like from the TV. But when she's sitting on my lap, right in front of the, both the laptop and then up on the wall, the TV, she won't acknowledge the dogs on my laptop. She will only acknowledge them if they're on the TV. And sometimes she'll acknowledge them, but then she'll keep looking at the TV thinking that's where they belong, not on the screen in front of her on the laptop. It's very bizarre. So today I like shut the TV off and I put the laptop on. I put dogs on it and I sat her there and I kept put, I kept forcing her head to look at the laptop screen. Cause I would say to her, you want to see the puppies? Cause whenever I say you want to see the puppies, she gets excited, runs over to her couch and looks up at the TV because she knows I'm going to put them on TV for her. Well, today I sat her in front of the laptop and I put the, I put the puppies on the laptop. Now I have a decently large laptop screen you know, it's 17 inches. It's not tiny. So it's not like she can't see it or something. I don't know what would the reason be. I don't know. But it's just bizarre. And 
she almost refused to see it. Finally, after me keeping her head there, looking at the screen, she finally started to bark at it and like get excited, but then immediately ran to the little couch, her little couch to look at the big TV and notice that it wasn't on. And she was so confused. And I think it just like completely threw her off because she was like, I don't think she like wants to, honestly, I don't think she wants to ruin the fantasy that she thinks the TV on the wall is like a window outside. And I think she's smart enough to know that it can't be a window in the middle of the room. Do you know what I mean? Like if it's on the coffee table and there's, there's nothing and she can't like, there's nothing behind it. Like in other words, there's no outside that could be behind it. So where are the dogs going? And she doesn't look behind the, the thing, but she knows that the wall on the, the TV on the wall, cause she used to go like, look to get down and kind of like try to look behind the TV. That is so pretty, but I can't hold it up because it's going to go into the, that and I don't want it in there because this stuff flies away so easily. But anyway, it's very weird because I think she's smart enough to know that what's going on. I just don't think that she's smart enough to. I, I mean, I think she's too smart. I think she knows that the TV like my laptop it's too it's like she doesn't want to deal with the reality that 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 it's how can the dogs be there <laughs> like i don't know like i i can't get out what i'm thinking in my head but it's like i feel like she knows that at least on the tv she can think that they're real because oh they're just outside because <laughs> Or something. I don't know. be careful with that stuff because it like it don't take much to have that all over the place yeah this is by it's called aurora flakes by cosmic shimmer they have like different colors with the golds and the silvers and all that i had gotten those last year and when I was putting together stuff to have out here for the resin, I remember I put them out. See what happens when you open your mouth and you talk while you're not fully got that all in the resin. <laughs> Don't breathe. Don't breathe when working with uh, foil flakes. There, now it's fine because it's all mixed in. Now I have to clean all that up because if it ends up in my resin where I don't want it, that could be problematic because now it'll stick to the mold and I can't get it out. Well, that's annoying. Okay. Oh, good night, Gail. Anyway, I'll show you. I'll print.
pretty. Pretty. All right, now I need a, a pink I'm going to use, which is, oops, I'm wrecking the joint. Uh, the dark pink I'm going to use is, um, I think that one. And the lighter pink I'm going to use an alcohol ink. Actually, you don't want to use that pink. It's a pink one here that I have. It's still in the crimson. I think I'll use a little bit of both of those. And then I'll use alcohol ink for the for the clear pink. If I can find the alcohol ink. I have to use one of these. Okay, so for the white, um, for this I'll need to mix up more of that. The last time I didn't, for this I didn't do enough white. I want to do that, and then I want some interference in there in the white as well. If I can find the, the pink interference somewhere, and it's green. the hell is it? Blue. It's here somewhere. Where is sparkle? The white that I'm mixing it doesn't take much of that stuff, and it gets real, real opaque real fast. Alright, there's the white. 
Now we're going to do the translucent pink. At least I'm going to try to. It's okay. I'm going to put that on there. It's hard to get. See, because it, the, the alcohol ink doesn't like the resin. It immediately likes to lighten up. That's better. The Copic ones are a little bit darker and richer in color. These caps are terrible on those inks. They're not very good. Not good. Yeah. A couple of drops because that's still a little bit. There we go. Nice. Throw a little sparkle in there. Of course. darker in the cup but it's really not that dark I mean it's a dark pink but it's not like super opaque or anything and then we have this pigment powder which is nice and dark and then this is a, a paste which will help get it there quicker Under the damn top off. There we go. Just use a little tiny bit. Ugh. Oh no. Resin is messy. Can't avoid the mess. Also, can't kind avoid of the fact that I can never get a baby wipe out. <laughs> I have to fight with them. Their color is so pretty. That's my opaque color there. Now, all I need to do is start pouring colors in. Oh, I wanted to put a little bit of that interference in here, and I forgot. Let me throw a little bit of that in here. Just a tid tad. A tid 
tab. That should be enough. Can't do anything one handed around here. doesn't sit in a big clump in the cup. I'm going to split it up a little bit because the more you have in the cup, the hotter it gets, the hotter it gets, the faster it sets up. So you want to keep it to smaller. Resin works on a chemical reaction that has to do with heat. And when it's dense in the cup, it'll heat up faster. And then that means you won't have very much working time. Where's the other cup? There it is. So we're going to avoid that by putting them in separate cups as I'm working with it. So I will put no, nah, I'll do that with jackass. Stay out of here. I'll keep the smaller. This one can use a little bit less in it. I'll keep the three smaller ones here. Um, and there's my glitter. So I'll move that out of the way. Get this out of the way start to get limited space when I start all this crap everywhere. So I'm going to start with that one. So those two are going over there. on everything. All right, let's see if I can attempt to put this more opaque color around the outside a little bit. I'm trying to pour it slowly so I don't Slower you pour, the better. She won't screw up as much. Um, I don't think so. Stay out of my way. Stay out my way. Anyway, they all let, let, they like put the resin in and then they let it sit and it kind of does its own kind of reaction as it sits and they kind of blend together. Like I would sometimes manipulate them and use like a toothpick and, you know, and go in and make like lines and stuff in it, but. 
I'm learning that you don't need to do that. And that the resin will kind of do its own thing. As it did with those purple ones, kind of, but. I could see where it kind of did its own thing there because I kind of put it in the same way. And what other ones I did that came out kind of cool? Um, I think the blue ones I did came out kind of cool. Right, so I'll go back to this one because this one needs more. It's not quite thick enough here. Oh crap, I forgot the gold that I was going to do too. Oops. I have plenty of resin that could make it. I was only going to do a little bit. It's going to be a little bit of gold. I'll use a uh, cup and mix up some gold with some of this. So don't forget I have the clear over here. I'll just do like a half. paper cups you left at the house? I don't remember. What cups? Do I still have them? Are they on the counter? What do I do with those cups? Oh, wait. Where did where did I put those cups? Barbara, do you remember? I don't think I've I don't think I've tried them because I forgot all about them. I'm sure they'd work great. If I remember where the hell they are, <laughs> I put them away so well that I don't <laughs> don't even remember where I put them. Dang it. Yeah, they would work. If they're paper cups, yeah, they would work. trying to get in my resin and kill yourself because that's what's going to happen in that suicide um, where did I put those cups I'm trying to think oh crap I'll have to look after I'm done with this but I remember he gave them to me but for the life of me I can't remember where I put them I'm glad you reminded me of them because at least I know to look for them Now I can go on to the clear, which is what I want to put in each one next. I'm not going to have a lot of, but I want to put a layer of clear in each one. Make sure at least I have enough. 
How would I mix the gold? Ah, dripping. Just want at least a layer to cover the bottom. Hey, don't be that. Just get in there. I didn't want to touch it. Just wanted you to kiss it. Touch it. Just kiss each other. Just kissy kisses. Come on. Kiss the sides. There you go. I didn't wreck that one now that I've got stuff going on I didn't want. Would you get off there? Get in there. Okay. Let's
sticky. Now we need the white. Where's my white little one? over here. Actually, I'm going to put a little gold in and then I'll put the clear in. No, maybe I'll put the clear in, then the gold. <laughs> Make up your mind. Good night, Janie. Get some rest. I wanted to ask her how Ricky was doing. These little teeth first. Where'd the white go? Oh, oh. <laughs> over here. This needs to be up a little bit, I feel like. This side always is problematic. There, maybe it'll... I don't want it shifting that way too much. And then we need the solid pink. And there's not much left in that one, so I need this one. Clear left. Oh, there is some. I don't know if there's some in here so they don't get too hot. So I'm going to put a good amount of clear pink.
Okay, now it's going too far <laughs> to this side. Let's see. And then white. Clear pink. That's the opaque. I don't have that one again yet. The clear one again. This one's getting full. No, not really. It's more of just the. No, it's, it's not as full as I thought it was. This one's getting fuller. These aren't okay, especially this one. This one, I'm going to put a little more clear in the center here. I call it clear, but it's the clear, the clearer of the pinks. Try to weed out a tiny little hair. I got it in here too. That's a big hair. Not my hair. I don't know whose hair it is, but it's not mine. Tigger's hair. of a darker pink. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Tiffany. I just noticed you came in too. Sorry, I can't <laughs> look for too long. I have to move my butt. And where's the clear?
And Made a mess out of that one, but that's okay. Okay. gold stuff. That's got to go in the middles.
pretty, pretty. Okay, now I need to grab a thing. Um, hold on. Ow. Oh, my leg. Oh, my hip. Everything hurts when I stand up. Guys, they gonna fit on here? No. Then we'll have to move you. Let me move these guys over now. Get them out of here. Clear. I have some white. Probably do this one. Oh, this one. It'll be a thinner one, but I can cover it with clear resin. We don't waste our resin. Always have extra molds on hand for the extra. With the crossover it's contamination.
a wee bit of gold out here. This one. There we go. Get that out of there. I'm going to mix it in so you can't see it. Sure. <laughs> Mixing it in. Too. Let me grab my poodles. Poodles. And this little shaker guy. I'll do a gold shaker. Too much, <laughs> probably. the white sparkle. It's actually pretty. I'm going to leave this one just white.
A mermaid tail. There's only a drop left of each. What else do I got? <laughs> what are the little moles do I have? Where's my bracelet? There it is. I can start my bracelet too. Why not? Mostly what I use all these for is I use these little molds to use up use up the resin. Scrapey, scrapey every little bit. I do end up with some interesting things when I do this with the leftover resin. can't make ugly things. <laughs> it's just not possible. Oh, there's more white in here. I'll do a little gold. It's getting thick. Come on. You can do it. I have faith in you. Get out. And 
some light in here. And then the last drop of gold. I'll just use this stick so you can really get much in there anyway. Hair. Would you mind? I'm working here, hair. Okay. And all right, right. Well, you're gonna get hurt, girl. Where's my alcohol? My hands are sticky, sticky and icky. Hi, Laura and Teresa and Myra. Okay, Myra, I'll check it in a little later. Let me. This is stuck. Yeah, let me go move these two over here. Out the 
you will. Now, I'll clean this up and then, and then we can make another one. Another tray, because I have another tray mold. I had to fill it up. My my gallon of my two gallons of freaking alcohol came today. I was like, hallelujah. What color should my next tray be? We've done pink. We've done purple. We've done teal. Ooh, should I do like black and white and silver? Do fancy. Wouldn't that be fancy pants? Maybe that would be cool. I should do a rainbow, a rainbow tray or a black and white. Those are stark contrasts <laughs> to each other. I could do a rainbow. The top tray could have the red, orange, yellow. The middle tray could have the green and the blues. The bottom could be the violet, the darker blue, um, the indigo, and the violet. And then I can even add like, like pink on the bottom, on the outside edge or something. What do you think, rainbow tray? Y'all fall asleep. Rainbow's okay. Green, red, and gold. Hmm. 
you next to a warm fire and look at you. I'm going to do green, red, and gold and stuff like that a little bit closer to Christmas. Um, I don't want to do that yet, but I am planning on doing um, a Christmas try or two. But not yet. Not yet. Barbara what do you think of a rainbow or I could do like a sunset sunset colors yellow orange pink I thought of that because of you Barbara because I was thinking orange she likes orange wait yellow orange pink sunset colors with some white added in for like clouds effects I don't know I could I could do it in like I don't know how I would do it but I could do it hi joy so then what should I do rainbow or sunset you choose tell me what to do Oh, Joyce's black, white, and gold. Wood slats? <laughs> Have I made one that looks like wood slats? How the hell do you do that, Barbara? <laughs> that made me laugh. How would I make that? How the hell would I make it look like wood slats? Do you have an idea in your head that you can tell me? Holy moly. Wood slats. How the heck would you do that with resin? Well, we'd have to look that up and investigate. Oh, you know what would be cool, though? If we if there was a way to make it look like, not wood slats, but the, the raw edge wood, like a raw edge wood piece somehow, that would take a lot of finagling, though. I'm, I'm not that good. <laughs> but either way, sunset. Everybody says sunset. All right. Nobody wants a rainbow. Everybody wants sunset. Fine. I hope I got the rest of it off the bottom. The purple one and the teal one will be for sale in my auction this Sunday. You won't want to miss it. They're really pretty. Where's the mold? Hey, Barbara, did you see this mold? Look at how thick it is. It's like an inch thick. It's humongous. Isn't that crazy? It's huge. It's like 17 inch tray. Okay. All right. The sunset on the Riviera. Let me get another tray over here before I do anything. Let me grab it at tray.
What made you think of a swimming pool? Wood slats? What did I have on here? Oh, those coasters I got you. This is where I put that stuff all along the edge. Okay. What was under there? Get out there. Just be smoother. Oh, this is kind of lumpy, bumpy. This is smoother. I'm going to use that. I'm not going to put this down. Falling around here. Drop the roll of paper. Okay. All right. So pink. Orange and yellow. It's going to go dark on the outside to light on the inside. I'm trying to think about how, uh, what colors, hmm. It would have to be a pink like I made in the last one. That would have to be the opaque color. And then. Um, I would do the orange and the yellow. And in between the two, I would put a white which will act like the clouds, kind of. I think that's the best way to go about that. I think that's the best way to go about it. I'm not going to put any metallic in it, though. Just the white. What do you think of that? Without any metallic? Like no gold or silver or anything. Just like a pearlescent, you know, on like some of the pigments will be pearly, but it won't have just, it just won't have like gold or silver. Oh, the tray, the blue tray made you think of a swimming pool? <laughs> yeah, it does look kind of like a swimming pool. All right, so I'm going to mix a little extra resin this time. Or extra clear, I should say. Actually, no, I'm not using. Am I using any clear at all? A little bit. So, yeah, I guess I don't need any extra. I just need to make sure I have enough clear to cover the bottom. All right. I don't know what that was. That was something else. Um. This one just had the hardener in it, so I can still use that cup for the hardener. 
So let me, before I do this, let me pick out the colors because I have to figure this out because let's see, for yellow, I do have a, a yellow pigment paste, but I don't want it to be so opaque. So I'm not going to use that. Oh, he's falling down for. Um, so I'm going to have to use alcohol ink. For that, and hopefully I can get a yellow with alcohol ink. Alcohol ink is weird. Here's an orange. Whoever's on Facebook who just said, hi, Stacy, I can't see your name um, at, at, above where the video is playing, you know, the post on Facebook where the video is playing, where you're watching it. It should have a link or something that says if you something about click the link to approve Facebook to show your name or something right above where the video is playing. Um, Click that link so I could see who you are. Otherwise, come on face, uh, YouTube so I can see who it is. Because, unfortunately, I can't see who it is. It just says Facebook user. But, hello, anyway. Well, wait a minute. What if the outside was a darker, like a purple color? And then we went pink to orange to yellow on the inside. That would be a good idea. Because like purple sunset, you know, when it goes into the, no? You tell me, Barbara, or somebody. It just looked like a small line of the darker purple on the outside. And then we'll do the the pink and then the orange. And then the, yep, the center will be yellow, yellowy orange. Find the yellow. There it is. Tina, hi. It worked. So I can do like a really good purple outside. Increasingly clear towards the center, kind of. And then the white. The white, I can put a little of the... Figured out. 
got it figured out. <clears throat> Zone gloves first, thing back. I almost did it again. We need our gloves. We're going to be going into places that you should not touch with your bare hands. all you got oh, trying to find a way it's comfortable for my arm to rest while I'm filling this up oh I could make some coasters that go along with it if I put enough resin to do it. I could I think I'll be able to. I'll have to do them separately. Maybe I'll do a set of coasters that go with them if it comes out the way I want it to. Okay, that's a workout in itself. Okay, stick, clean stick. Barbara, how big were those cups that you left me? Just so I have a visual in my head. I don't remember how big they were. And maybe it'll help me figure out where the hell I put them. They might be in the cabinet. Oh, they're, they were little? I thought they were a little bigger than that. No? Oh, that's cool if they were that size. Where the hell did I put them? <laughs> well, they've got to be up in that cabinet then. Hmm. You 
we've had that name for a little while, right? Don't get drizzling stuff on the next tray. How have you been, Miss Steph um, Stephanie? Tina, you said Stephanie, and I read it. <laughs> I was looking right at it. Uh, hi, Renee. Janie's not here anymore, Renee. She went to bed a while ago. She had, didn't get much sleep and got up way too early. Or I don't know if she didn't get much sleep, but I know she got up really early. Take it. I'm going to put it in a couple different cups to keep it from of the bigger cups to keep it from being weird. Why are my cups not completely cleaned out? I feel like they're not completely cleaned out. I'm dropping them all over the place. I'm going to put them a little bit in here. This wider cup will help a little bit keep it from setting up so damn fast. Get back here. So it'll sit for like, you know, a lot longer if I have it separated out into those cups before I start mixing it. It's at least the remainder of it. And I'll put what I need in here.
copies. Slip that in my hand. Try to keep a grip on it. very little so that'll probably be enough for the purple and this will be good for the center we're going to need is the orange and pink probably and then this will be the white I guess and then I have clear which I'm going to put some sparkle in and then we need a center what's this one going on. <laughs> Gotta figure it out. Use some of this. Come on. your what what is my raisin what do you mean what do you mean oh resin you mean what is my resin what brand oh, that's pretty a little bit more of this 
see that. I use Dr. Crafty's. Dr. Crafty. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> That's actually fine. It's fine. I need some of that. Oh, maybe I should put some of the golden pearl in here. That would be pretty. Mm. Mm, the white gold stuff. That would be pretty. And that would be what we need. Barbara's favorite color, orange. That one's lighter. The other one's darker. I like the darker one better. Caps on these are terrible to get back on. On the Bria Reese alcohol inks, they're horrible. God, there's no working fast with that. <laughs> Glitter in there. Of course, we do not want some glitter in there. That would just be crazy talk. Have to find some glitter to go in there. Um, I can't tell. Is that a pink orange shift? That should go in the pink then.
We're going to put a drop with these in there. Just the drops. Give it a little more shimmer. That's good. So we got purple and we got pink, which is going to be this color again. worked well last time so we shall use it again get some of this yummy color perfect for a sunset I don't know why I put so much of that in there I didn't mean to that's okay did not mean to put that much of that in there At least it's still slightly translucent, which is what I wanted. Okay. And this is the yellow. Yellow. I do have yellow glitter. The yellow glitters. Um, Pretty yellow. Or am I missing anything? We got our pink, we got our purple, we got our white. Yeah, I think we're good. Um, the center, I'm going to put some of the little mylar flakes in there. Um, but I'll wait until it's done so I can drop them in. That's what I'm going to do for that. I can't think of anything else to put in the center that I'd, that would look appropriate. Let me see what's in that real quick. Hmm. Yeah, that's about the best thing I could think of. Oh, that's right. I wanted some of this in the paint. how much that's going to show, but I put it in there anyway. A little bit of that actually would look nice in there more. Yeah, that's better. It's not going to show in the pink very much. Yeah, that's pretty in there. It's like an orange-pink shift. 
flaky kind of glitter stuff. All right, All right show time. First, I gotta separate out these so they're not so heavy. At least these two, because they're too thick in the cup. So, no, 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 you jackass. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't go two minutes without spilling it. There's another girl I was watching on YouTube doing resin and she was doing the same she was the same as me she spilled it like four different times she goes I constantly spill it she goes it's almost impossible not to spill my resin I was like girl I feel you I do the same thing I spill it I make a mess good lord her and I probably twins separated at birth as much as she spilled it like at least three times it's hard not to because there's just sticks sticking up and you have a small space and trying to keep your big arms out of the way of everything, but it's hard to do. You just do the best you can and try not to spill too much. What I need to do is get cups back out of the damn way so I have somewhere to put the resin that I'm pouring. It's the ones with the sticks or the extras. The extra. That's the, what's that? What color is that? Is that orange? Okay, that's the extra orange. I was going to say, dang. Alright, and the yellow. We'll split that up too. Purple, I won't need to split up. The white, I don't need to split up. Bless you, Tigger. Nap time. Good lord. Howdy duty time. Oh, that wasn't mixed in. Make an attempt at a sunset. What was that a chunk of? I don't know. Put it on the outside or on the inside. Please. Must we have a mess today? Five thousand years later. What I want to know is what was the chunk over here that I see? Just want to make sure nothing the pigment powder didn't clump up. Seems okay. I don't feel anything. Just wanted to be sure, that's all.
to make sure this was level. Damn, damn. Before I start pouring all this crap. We're going to check. I don't know if that matters too much, but. There's a whole hell of a lot I could do with it. If it isn't, that's good. It's good enough. It's going to have to be. How the hell are you going to go over there? Go to the um we're gonna go for some clear. Uh, but I want sparkle in the clear. At least a little bit anyway. Did y'all fall asleep? Supposed to be keeping my ass awake. for getting it out of the cup. It's good for mixing, but not getting it out. Sucks for that. Popsicle stick helps a little quicker.
Now we're going for the pink. This is the problem here. Why are we having problems? Jesus. Don't know. Orange, please. Where's the orange? I have the orange right here. <laughs> Is bad luck with this particular one here. The other two I do fine with this one. I'm messing up left and right. No, that's unacceptable. Sunset is getting weird. I see that. I'm not supposed to do that. Jackass. the other pink. This way, there it is. So we're losing our pink. Hang 
tired of being ass. hair. What is that? I think it's just a little bit of that paint showing through. Yeah. It's gone. It's gone. And what? Hmm. The idea was to put it between the orange and the pink, and I don't know what that's going to do, so we're going to try it just for the ha ha's of it. Put it through there because I can't do a straight line to save my life. So it's just going in here. I'm just going to see what happens. I'm going to blow it around a little bit too. But You gotta be in my fucking way, don't you, asshole? Damn it. 
There's always gonna be something in the damn freaking way. Son of a bitch. You had to make me ruin it, right? Ass wipe. Mm, frustrating. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do that. What I'll do is put more yellow in the center. Push out that white a little bit. used all my colors so now I'm gonna blow it a little bit as I clean off my fingers eggs I'll push eggs it's gonna look like a sunset hopefully <laughs> I have a feeling it's not gonna look like a sunset but we can always hope it looks like a sunset Sunset. Think sunset. Did I plug this in? No. What was the extension cord that I have? There it is. And right back. Oh, yeah. How do I plug this sucker in? Get in there, Jack. I'm not going to make coasters until I know how these look tomorrow or something. You know what I mean? I'll wait if I want to make matching coasters.
it may just look sunsetty after all. Tomorrow. We'll see. Hmm. We will see. I want to add something to the middle of it, but I don't know what exactly. Um, I was going to add the stuff, but it's going to wind up spreading too much. Hmm. Hmm. What if I did something heavier? Add a little bit of that broken mirror glass to the center. What do you think? I think that would be pretty. I need a little spoon to do it. Son of a bitch. Must we? Well, you're in there now. <laughs> At least you're sunk to the bottom. Get the smaller piece out, but that bigger one's going to sink right to the bottom. Got to be difficult, always.
cool. I think they might be okay after all. I'll just have to wait to see what the morning brings for those. Where's my... Rest in here. Enough for the middle, I think. A little more yellow, so I use the yellow for around the pink. to the meat. Purple is take that blue purple is taking over quite a bit. <laughs> probably should have only put a tiny amount. I didn't realize it was gonna 
invade as much as it did. Didn't know it was going to sink into the center quite as much as it did. Hmm. That's all right. If they don't look like sunset, maybe they'll look like it on the other side. But if not, no big deal. Interesting in the morning. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know nothing. But what I do know is that I'm going to put some crap in the middle of it. See what happens after that. Some crappy wappy. All right, next up, we're going to do some coasters. Coasty coasties. I think those I'll do the black and the silver and the white. Since I didn't do that for these. Pansy without the black. Oh, yeah, they do look like flower, don't they? But I, I think by the morning they're going to change a bit, so don't count on them looking like that. I think this is going to come in. I think the backside is going to look interesting on them. Um, but you're not going to see much of the yellow on this side. I, I don't think by the time this is by the time they set up. Cause that blue is coming right in who knows it might it would be cool if they kind of stayed sort of like that you know but i have a feeling they're not going to oh i still have white left and i have nothing to pour it into right now i ain't pouring it into that Nothing. I have geos, but I don't want to use those. I have this little mold. It's around circles. I it. It's around circles. I can get it out of the damn bag. It makes little spheres. Probably. Make a sphere. And then it starts splattering, dumbass. Get my 
see if people are doing that crap. What are you doing over there, Ticker? Snotting all over the couch or what? Snotty face. I love the way the pink and the blue, it's like they're trading places somehow. Why? I don't know. Because, like, the pink is now on the outside. It's cool looking. Even if it doesn't look like necessarily a sunset, it looks like something. <laughs> it's still cool looking. You know? It's still cool. these over now. Oh, let me make room for them to be over there. Otherwise, I don't have nowhere to put them. These things put. Oh, I gotta do these the first anyway. Should do it. Feeling I'm gonna really like those that tray that the, you know those that tray set and I'm never gonna be able to repeat it again you know what I mean it's one of those things where I just have a feeling it's gonna be really pretty and I'll never be able to recreate it <laughs> it'll be like one of those things like that stupid coaster that Janie has that looks really cool that I thought oh yeah I'll be able to make make that again <laughs> and no matter what I do I can't make the same can't make it even if I use all the same stuff, 
I still can't make it. Good night, Laura. It's being difficult. Come on, clean your ass up. This clear resin here. <gasps> I didn't even realize I had it. I'm pouring it on. Baby girl, I poured it on that coaster I just made when I was doing that thing. Let me stick a stick underneath this thing. It's leaning a little weird. Coaster I poured that in looks cool. Winnie Willow, get out of here right now. Go. You don't belong over here. Dang it. Little creepers. They're trying to creep. Let me get a, one of these dudes. Do I have one that's clean, please? Good lord. Is that dirty? What the hell, man? Lord. Ugh, jack 
guess. Not one of them is clean. This one's about the cleanest I can find. Pour it in there, but I need it to be cleaned out a little bit. I'm going to pour what's in there at the bottom, then I can just do something to it on top. Why don't you go sit on your couch, Willow? Instead of wandering around looking for trouble. Troublemakers. Troublemakers. I could just drop some alcohol in it. There's enough in there, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'll drop a few drops of alcohol. And we'll see what we get.
Well, I think it's getting too set up. It's not one the, the alcohol's not wanting to swirl around at all. So I ain't gonna add no more, but where the hell did my toothpicks go? Oh, right here. Okay, thank you for that. Okay, guess the, the weight has gotten clumpy and decided it was going to come out. Okay, didn't think that could happen. I'll just take it out then. You don't want to be in there, you ain't got to be in there. I ain't going to force you. All right, take her chill out. You can get down. Hmm, interesting. Let's see what happens with that. Hmm. Hmm. All right, bud. Chill. I'm actually going to get off of here because they want to eat and go out. And I'm probably going to reach my limit of being awake soon because I got up so early. So I better not start anything else. Or else that could be a problem. But tomorrow night I'll probably do some coasters. And I want to do that big tray that I got. So... Thanks for hanging out, everybody. All right, Tiggs. All right, calm down. <laughs> I hope you have a good night. And I will see you guys for Patreon tomorrow night. Patreon uh, live stream, hopefully, if all goes well. Yes, I hear you. I have to go to the Creative Reuse tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Poodle pack out. <laughs>